I'm in the process of making a birthday card for a man and I was getting ready to put it together and I thought maybe I would bring you along with my process. So far I have started the card so I have my base ready and this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and I've already inserted my middle of the card without the sentiment and a piece of gold that I've had for my stash mirror, mirror card. I embossed using embossing folder I'm not quite sure what it's called but there are woods and I don't know exactly where I got it from so I did I wanted this because I'm making trees as my image so this is let me see about five and a fourth by four and I'm going to place it on the front of my card. So that's what I'll be doing right now. I am using my glue. Glitter Art Glue. I'm trying to put this right in the middle of this card base. The next thing I have is a piece of off-white or tannish, creamish gold card and this one four and a quarter by approximately two and a quarter and how I got that dimension was I actually displaced this on top of a piece of paper and this cut it to the size of this um, image. But right now let's go ahead and, and make this image. I'm using the Mossy Meadows ink from Stampin' Up! And I will put a good amount on this stamp. Okay, while I have that done, I'm going to use an Aqua by Spec Spectrum Aqua by um, over in England. I'm not sure what it is, but I have a set of those markers. And I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to put a little bit of brown on this where the um, branch is. And I'll wipe off my marker because it's picking up some of that green. Now I'm going to put it on this card as straight as I can. Don't have much wiggle room. I'm going to leave it on here just for a little while so the ink will go into the cardstock. Okay, woo, that's crooked. I think I'll start again. Try again on this side. It's a good thing it's two sides to a cardstock. 
see if I can get it straighter the next time. Okay, let's try this again, see if I can get it straighter. Okay, not too bad straighter. <laughs> now I'm going to apply that to this layer. And I guess I'll add some glue to this. And you can see the brown trunk in the trees. And I'm going to apply this here, but towards the top, so I can put happy birthday at the bottom. And I will use pop dots. See if I can get this as straight as I can. Okay, and there it is so far. Now I'm gonna have to find a happy birthday stamp. And I think I will use this one. This is a uh, my sentiments exactly. Now this company, I'm not quite sure if it's in business still, but every now and then I will see stamps set by them. I don't know. I, I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby, but I used to see them a lot more than I do now. And I'm going to use this happy birthday. I'm going to put it on a piece of card 
this card base. Let's see. And I think I'm going to use brown ink. I use early espresso. I'm going to apply this towards the edge of my card. There it is. And I'm going to cut it. So to go down to the bottom of my base, card base. There it is. And I think I'm going to use some um, double-sided tape. On this one, so to stay straight here. Okay. And there it is. Now on the inside, oh my. I really have messed this up. Well, on the inside, I'm going to have to compromise and see what I can do here. I'm going to use some pattern paper that I used down here at the bottom here. And this is it. And I'm going to put this card on here to cover up this arrow here. Let me get it straight first, and then I will do that. They always told me there are no arrows in making cards. Because usually you can cover them up. Sometimes you have to throw it away, but usually you can cover it up. I'm going to make a small frame. And I'm going to use my glue for that. While I have it, before I put it on my card, I'm going to choose what I want on here. I think I'll just use the cinnamon here. Let me get a block. And chocolate chip ink. towards the top so I have room to put a little bit of a sentiment for myself personally. Okay, not too bad. Now let's see if we can cut it and place it in this card base. Insert. Okay, 
and I'm going to use glue Okay, that's my inside and my front. Let me know what you think about this. And please comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for staying with me while I made this card. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye!